Hey guys, in this lesson we will talk about presentation from the topic human embryology. This is presented by me, Yogita Khandelwal. Placentation. Chorionic villi and uterine tissue become interdigitated with each other and jointly form a structural and functional unit between developing embryo and maternal blood which is called placenta. So, chorionic villi and uterine tissue together form the placenta. Chorionic villi, fetal placenta and uterine tissue. Maternal placenta and it is structural and functional unit between embryo and mother. Begins during second week of pregnancy and in twelfth week of pregnancy, fetal and maternal placenta are completely segregated. Human placenta is hemochorial. That is, there are no placental barriers from maternal side. And there are three barriers from fetal side. Chorionic, it is derived from chorion layer. Metadiscoidal, uh, that firstly in early stage it is diffused and then become discoidal, metadiscoidal. And deciduate, that the strong of, uh, strength of attachment between fetal and maternal placenta is strong. Now this is a picture depicting the placenta. So uh, this is chorion layer. So it is chorionic epithelium chorionic connective tissue and chorionic endothelium. These three forms the fetal placenta and uh, here the maternal placenta is because uh, maternal placenta is there where there is maternal blood because there is no placental barrier from the mother side. This is fetus, this is umbilicus and this is umbilical cord through which fetus and uh, placenta are attached. The placenta is connected to the umbilical cord which helps in the transport of substances to and from the embryo. Substances which cross placenta. So, uh, umbilical cord is the structure which connects placenta and embryo and helps in transport of substances. And these uh, are nutrients, respiratory gases, supply of oxygen and removal of carbon dioxide from embryo, hormone, IgG antibody, it is the smallest antibody, Removal of excretory substances produced by embryo. So these are the useful substances transported through umbilical cord. Teratogens. Harmful substances which can cross placenta and cause embryonic defect. So there are some harmful substances also which can cross placenta. Fetus is most sensitive for teratogen during first trimester of pregnancy because Till, uh, in first time, till first trimester of pregnancy, it is developing, uh, and that's why it is most sensitive. And uh, these are these uh, teratogens can be viral infections, viruses, some bacterial infection, example syphilis and chlamydia. So virus and bacteria, alcohol cause fetal alcohol syndrome, which causes mental retardation. So if mother drinks alcohol, then it may leads to mental retardation of the fetus. Tobacco smoke caused cleft palate that is cleft lip in baby and SIDS that is sudden infant death syndrome. So if mother chew tobacco uh, it leads to cleft palate and SIDS. Thalidomide is a drug. Uh, it is sedative. It causes limb defect in fetus. Amalia. No limb formation. Melia for limb and A for absence. Meromelia. Partial limb formation. Phacomelia. Partial limb with attached palm or foot. So, there, uh, suppose if it is hand, then there will be arm and the palm. There will be no forearm. So, the mother, the pregnant mother should not uh, drink alcohol or take tobacco or any kind of drug because it will be harmful for the fetus. Now, placental hormone. So, placenta also secretes some hormone which helps in development of the embryo. So, first is human chorionic gonadotropin that is HCG. Initially secreted by trophoblast cells, later on by placenta, because placenta starts from second week, so initially it is secreted by trophoblast cells. HCG secretion falls abruptly in 13 week of pregnancy. Uh, mimics function of LH, rescuing degeneration of corpus luteum during first trimester of pregnancy. So what happens? Corpus luteum is uh, needed for the pregnancy to maintain. So, uh, and the corpus luteum requires LH and corpus luteum secretes progesterone and estrogen and progesterone is required for maintaining the pregnancy. And uh, for corp corpus luteum for rescuing degeneration it requires LH 
and the hcg mimics the function of lh so hcg is the hormone which helps in the rescuing degeneration of corpus luteum now initially it is secreted by trophoblast cells and till 12th week it is secreted by placenta but after that placenta is fully developed and it can now itself secrete progesterone so there is no need of corpus luteum so uh, the hcg secretion falls in 13th week of pregnancy and the corpus luteum degenerates after 13th week before it rescues the degeneration of corpus luteum second is human chorionic thyrotropin stimulate thyroid hormone secretion required for brain development so thyrotropin thyroid hormone and brain development human chorionic somatomammotropin hcs or placental lactogen hpl or placental mammotropin so these are the names of the same hormone prepares mammary gland for lactation so uh, the mother is has is needed to be lacta uh, the fetus is needed to be lactated by the mother after delivery so this uh, hormone prepares mammary gland of the mother for lactation it prevents utilization of glucose in maternal blood thus maternal glucose is transported to fetus through placenta now the uh, fetus derive nutrition from mother only so it is needed to check that all the glucose is not utilized in maternal blood so this hormone checks it and it prevents utilization of glucose relaxin it is secreted by ovary relaxes pubic symphysis and dilates birth canal during delivery so relaxin helps in delivery hcg hpl and relaxin are produced in women only during pregnancy so these three hormones that is hcg hpl and relaxin are indicative of pregnancy estrogen secretion starts from third week of pregnancy progesterone it is pregnancy maintaining hormone if this hormone is not secreted then the pregnancy would not be maintained secretion starts from sixth week of pregnancy before it is secreted by corpus luteum corticotrophic hormone that is crh pregnancy clause it is a very important hormone it stimulates fetal adrenal cortex to secrete a cortisol required for lung development and dhea androgen required to initiate parturition so the, it stimulates fetal uh, adrenal cortex a cortisol which is required for lung development and androgen for parturition secretion starts from 6 month and attains peak level in 9th month of pregnancy so a uh, six month when the lung development starts so depending on the corticotropic hormone only a uh, female with low level of crh have chances of post mature delivery and vice versa because if it if there is low level of crh then lung uh, lung development and parturition will not be stimulated so it will result in post mature delivery on vice versa if it is high level of crh then it will result in premature delivery and the last hormone is prostaglandin so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching